Hello and welcome back to Dukescopy TV. There are concerns the UK may be re-entering its third recession in five years after industrial production slumped, sending the sterling to a 33-month low against the dollar. Joining me on the line is David Owen, Chief European Economist at Jefferies International. Hello David. David, do you think the UK will go back into recession? Well, anything's possible, but I think the more um, considered um, view is that the um, UK um, in recent months has effectively been flatlining and GDP is basically uh, being, move, uh, being move, uh, moving sideways. I'd also highlight we have this um, contrast at the moment between the strength of the labour market, um, where full-time working in the UK has actually picked up quite significantly in recent months, and the weakness of GDP, and I think reality probably lies somewhere between the two uh, views of the world. So I think at the end of the day, the GDP figures will probably get revised up slightly. The other thing I'd highlight um, as well, in particular, about the manufacturing data in the UK is that France um, also saw in January um, a decline of almost 1.5% on the month, and in particular as well, um, that um, this, I think, is more part of a global uh, trend. When I look at um, some of the data on world trade, uh, world trade at the moment still strikes me as um, relatively very weak, um, and um, only last year grew at just over 2%. So I think part of the UK's issue is that, um, um, you know, we've got the weakness uh, more generally, and especially as well, what I'd highlight is if you split the UK export data between exports to the Eurozone and exports to elsewhere, um, it's really into the Eurozone where UK export performance has um, underperformed. If you look at um, UK exporting into um, other parts of the world, actually exports there have generally held up quite well. UK inflation expectations have also climbed to a four and a half year high amid speculation the Bank of England will add more stimulus to spur the economy. Can we expect the BOE to add more stimulus? I think um, it's almost inevitable that um, there will be additional stimulus uh, provided over the coming months. What we don't know, of course, is the form that uh, the policy uh, will take, because obviously the Bank of England and also the UK Treasury um, is looking at different ways that we could try and uh, kickstart the UK uh, recovery. Um, quantitative easing is obviously um, still likely to be pursued, but there are other means that they may um, actually do. And I think the, the other thing I'd highlight here is that the Bank of England actually doesn't want to see inflation expectations, I think, really come down uh, in the UK. When you're faced with um, an economy which isn't really growing at the zero rate bound, if you have uh, falling inflation expectations, that actually implies rising real rates, because the real rates measure as a gap between your uh, nominal interest rate and inflation expectations themselves. So, in fact, I think the Bank of England is actually quite happy to see inflation and expectations beginning to rise um, again in the UK. And certainly when we look at the US, one of the uh, policies which Ben Bernanke has been pursuing is to actively increase inflationary expectations over the other side of the Atlantic. That's part of his uh, policy as is being pursued. So I think um, I don't think the Bank of England is going to be too concerned with the fact that inflationary expectations have ground a little bit higher in the UK um, in recent months. I think it's part of the wider picture of what they're actually hoping to achieve um, going forwards. Do you think the UK is moving away from good production and becoming increasingly dependent on consumer spending? Is this not a dangerous spiral? Well, I think the uh, UK in any event uh, was far too uh, reliant on the consumer running into the crisis. I think what we're seeing at the moment um, is more that the UK is rebalancing more towards manufacturing. It's going to take time. Um, and obviously the the uh, disappointing data um, this week on manufacturing in the UK underlies that point. But I think over, over the next few years, we'll see the UK actually becoming more uh, dependent on uh, manufacturing, not less. And I think the consumer, although, um, you know, sort of... Um, uh, is, is, is still under enormous pressure. You know, the, the household sector is still restructuring balance sheets. Um, moreover, real wages in the UK is still declining. So I don't really see this as being led by a consumer uh, recovery. It's, um, over time, the UK will rebalance. So I think more of, the, or more of the output will actually be sourced out of UK manufacturing. Um, obviously, this week's data doesn't support that thesis, but I think over the next two to three years, that's what we'll find. And what are your projections for UK economic growth in 2013? Well, I think um, I would generally agree with um, the consensus um, that the UK could uh, grow by around about 1% this year and 
2% on average in 2014. Um, GDP didn't grow at all last year. Um, blank 1% growth this year is perfectly achievable. Um, you know, that's not a strong uh, recovery. It just um, would be a recovery where GDP grows um, through the quarters of 2013. But I, I see that still as uh, the most likely scenario. Thanks for joining me, David. That's all for now, but stay tuned to Duke's Copy TV for the latest financial news and updates. Goodbye for now.